In today's video, I will show you the secret production process in Skoda Car Factory. Step by step from welding shop to final assembly and quality check. Look at the factory staff and robots at work. We start with manufacturing of Skoda Kodiak, then Skoda Enyaq IV, then Skoda Octavia, Skoda Superb and much more. Wait until the end, where you will also see the latest assembly line of Skoda Enyaq Coupe. Skoda Kodiak is positioned as the largest Skoda SUV, above the Skoda Kamek and Skoda Karak. In April 2021, Skoda launched a lightly facelifted version of the Kodiak. Subtle cosmetic changes were introduced, including a redesigned hood, and a more upright front grille. The changes made, serve a functional purpose, in making the Kodiak more aerodynamic than before, by tweaking the bumpers and installing a new roof-mounted spoiler. Test drive now begins. Testing the suspension, wheels, and chassis of new Skoda Kodiak. This factory tour is from Skoda Enyaq IV which has been in production since 2020, and Skoda Auto is planning a great future for this model.
The Skoda Enyaq IV is a battery electric compact crossover SUV. It is assembled at the Skoda plant in Lada Boleslav, Czech Republic, for the European market. The Enyaq IV will be available either as rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, with three different battery capacities and five performance versions. The Enyaq also has a Sportline variant, with a different interior and exterior styling, and extended standard features. The Enyaq has a speed assistance system as standard. This uses a camera and digital mapping to determine the local speed limit, and the driver can choose to allow the system to adjust the speed automatically. A seatbelt reminder is standard for all seating positions. A fatigue detection system monitors driver alertness, but this is available as an option only, and was not included in the assessment. Lane assistance warns the driver if the car is drifting out of lane, and gently corrects the vehicle path. The system also intervenes more aggressively in some more critical situations. This is what wheel assembly using robots looks like. The front and rear doors are now fastened by a factory worker who uses a robot to facilitate them. The correct function of the onboard computer is now checked, and the pilot cockpit is switched on for the first time. One of the last stages in the production of the Skoda Enyaq IV is, of course, quality control. Not only the condition of the paint is checked, but also the entire interior and other details of the car. The Skoda Superb is a large family car that has been produced by the Czech car manufacturer Skoda Auto since 2001. The latest facelift version has been in production since 2020. The Skoda Superb IV is a plug-in hybrid version and has an all-electric range of up to 55 kilometers. The Superb IV is identifiable by the IV badge on the tailgate. The connector used to charge the battery with a fast charging cable or with a cable for a normal power outlet can be found under a flap in the grille. The Skoda Superb IV offers advanced driver assistance systems. The trailer assist helps drivers when they need to park and reverse with the trailer. The Superb IV goes beyond the conventional driving modes already established in the classic Superb by offering electric, hybrid and sport modes. In electric mode, the car is powered solely by the electric motor. In hybrid mode, the electronics automatically ensure there is optimal interplay between the electric motor and the internal combustion engine. Sport mode is designed for maximum performance. Usually there are three coats of paint used in painting a car. Primer, top coat, and clear coat. See how programmable robotic hands spray paint on the body. It is a fully automated process that ensures even spraying on the car body. The new Skoda Superb IV is the brand's first production model to feature plug-in hybrid technology. 
By combining an efficient petrol engine with an electric motor, it offers particularly eco-friendly mobility without compromising on performance. The battery has a capacity of 37 ampere hour and 13 kilowatt hours of energy. The car's CO2 emissions are less than 35 grams to kilometer, and the all-electric range is up to 62 kilometers in the WLTP cycle. The Skoda Superb IV fulfills the Euro 6D temp emission standard. The Superb IV allows for particularly sustainable mobility without compromising dynamism. Available in sedan or wagon, as style or sportline variants, the Superb IV comes with all the simply clever design, safety and connectivity features as its petrol engine equivalents. This part is from the production of the latest Skoda Octavia model. You are now watching the assembly of the fourth generation Octavia. The production of the previous Octavia 3 will come next in 7 minutes. Skoda is one of the longest-standing car manufacturers in the world. The Czech brand has been part of the Volkswagen Group since 1991. Since then it has increased the number of deliveries more than sevenfold. The Skoda brand delivered 1 million vehicles worldwide in 2021. In the fiscal year of 2020, the Volkswagen Group sold around 850,000 vehicles under its Skoda brand. The name Skoda actually comes from founder Emil Skoda. He first branded the military equipment he built to help keep Austro-Hungarian Empire together at the turn of the 19th century in this way. Then merged with the bicycle works of the Lauren and Clement, in 1924, to pave the way for what the brand is today. Skoda are very reliable. So reliable, in fact, that they've topped quite a few dependability tables in the past few years. The Telegraph placed Skoda at the top of their dependability table.
Skoda operates at three locations in the Czech Republic. Manufactures in China, Russia, Slovakia, and India mainly through group partnerships, as well as in Ukraine with a local partner. Skoda employs approximately 42,000 people globally and is active in more than 100 markets. third generation of Skoda Octavia that premiered in 2012 has been bought by over 2.8 million customers. The Skoda Octavia is Skoda's most popular model. About 40% of all newly manufactured Skoda cars are Tavius. The first generation Octavia was released in November 1996. In early 2014, Skoda revealed the Scout. It is raised suspension, plastic cladding, and four-wheel drive. In early 2017, the third-generation facelift Skoda Octavia arrived in the showrooms, with the main visible difference being the split front headlights. As you can see this Skoda employee checks the gaps between the hood and the body, between the door and the body, and so on. In 2017 in Vienna, Skoda presented the third-generation Skoda Octavia facelift. This is how the Octavia's driving characteristics are tested, especially brakes, suspension, and chassis. Write me a comment on whether you would like to work in a Skoda factory. Thanks.
The base coat is next, and this is the first layer of color, the final color of the vehicle. Manufacturers usually choose between the basic solid paints and paints with aluminium chips in them, metallic paints and pearlescent paints, which produce the pearl effect via a special pigment. Now you can watch the robotic hands that paint the whole car with the final color. As you can see, the Skoda emblem just snaps on the hood. The Skoda Octavia dashboard is mounted in one large piece. It is the heart and soul of Skoda, it embodies all of the Czech car manufacturer's strengths, and lays the foundations for its success, the Skoda Octavia. The large compact car offers interior space that is among the most generous in its segment, and brings the equipment and the technology of a mid-sized car into the compact segment. Its design is striking, its quality is on the highest level, and above all it represents exceptional value for money.
The Tavia is Skoda's top seller. Since its market launch in 1996, the Czech car manufacturer has produced more than 5 million Skoda Octavias. In 2016, now in its third generation, the large compact car made up more than 40% of Skoda's total sales worldwide with 436,000 vehicles sold. 255,000 cars found buyers in Europe, 4.2% more than in the previous year. The model range has fanned out. Additions to the hatchback and combi are the all-terrain Octavia Scout, the extremely economical Octavia G-Tech with CNG powertrain, as well as the RS models, which, as with the higher-end variants, are increasingly moving into the focus of customers. Comprehensively upgraded, the Octavia hatchback and the Octavia combi are now starting the second half of their life cycle. The infotainment systems in the Skoda Octavia are part of a new generation. Their capacitive displays react to even the lightest touch. With the exception of the standard swing music system, all the infotainment systems, optional, feature a glass design. The top of the range Columbus navigation system comes with a 9.2-inch display, provides passengers with a Wi-Fi hotspot, and has an optional extra LTE module for super-fast data transfer. In addition, Funabox enables inductive smartphone charging. The connectivity features are also groundbreaking. Skoda Connect offers a range of new mobile online services that are divided into two categories, with the infotainment online services providing information and entertainment, and the Care Connect services providing assistance and support. Other online services, including remote access to the car, operate using the Skoda Connect app on your smartphone. The SmartLink Plus platform incorporates the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, MirrorLink, and SmartGate standards to pair the mobile phone with the car. The new generation of electronic assistance systems makes driving the upgraded Skoda Octavia even safer and more comfortable. They surpass the usual level in the compact segment by far, in typical Skoda style, and there is a wide range to choose from. Trailer Assist, the predictive pedestrian protection function, blind spot detect and rear traffic alert are new to the portfolio. The same applies to Crew Protect Assist, it works together with Front Assist including the City Emergency Braking function. Park Assist comes in a new enhanced configuration. When it comes to interior space, the Skoda Octavia continues to set benchmarks. The hatchback and the combi each offer 1,782 mm of interior length and 73 mm of knee room in the rear. Their boot capacities measure 590 and 610 liters respectively, with the back seats folded down its 1,580 or 1,740 liters. For the combi, an electric tailgate is available as an option. Some new ideas have been added to the many simply clever features already offered by the Skoda Octavia to date. Two USB ports in the rear, folding tray tables on the back of the front seats, bottle holders that make the opening of PET bottles easier, and a removable LED torch in the combi's boot. The heated steering wheel and customizable keys in particular ensure extra comfort and convenience.
All Electric Enyaq Coupe IV is based on the Volkswagen Group's MEB platform. The world premiere was held in Prague on 31 January. Series production of the new Skoda Enyaq Coupe IV has started at Skoda Auto's main plant in Lada Boleslav. Like the successful, all-electric Enyaq IV it is based on the Volkswagen Group's modular electrification toolkit. More than 120 units of the elegant coupe will be produced every day at the main plant alongside the Skoda Enyaq IV Octavia and Octavia IV model series. Board member of Skoda Auto said, Last year, we produced 50,000 units of the Skoda Enyaq. Now we are taking it to the next level, by launching production of the new Skoda Enyaq QP. I would like to congratulate the team on the successful completion of the preparation phase. It's a great honor for the entire team that the QP version of our successful electric SUV is also being produced at the heart of the brand, in Lada Boleslav. In future, 2,000 employees will be assembling more than 120 units of the Skoda Enyaq QP IV a day on the same production line as the Enyaq IV and Octavia. The two Enyaq IV variants are the only models based on the Volkswagen Group's modular electrification toolkit to roll off a European assembly line outside Germany. The Moda Skoda Enyaq IV combines sporty lines with generous space and offers a boot capacity of 570 liters. The panoramic glass roof, which comes as standard, is the largest in Skoda's portfolio and makes up the entire roof. At the same time, it is thinner than the full roof, giving passengers extra headroom. The drag coefficient has been improved over the Skoda Enyaq. It contributes to high efficiency of the Skoda Enyaq. Depending on the configuration, the maximum range is up to 545 km in the WLTP cycle, making the Skoda Enyaq QP IV particularly suitable for long journeys. As part of its next level, Skoda Strategy 2030, the carmaker is committed to electrifying its model portfolio. By 2030, it will have launched at least three more all-electric models below the Enyaq IV in terms of size and price. The aim is to increase the Skoda brand's share of all-electric models sold in Europe to between 50 and 70% by 2030, depending on market developments. This is how the company aims to reduce its fleet emissions by more than 50% compared to 2020. At the same time, Skoda Auto is working to develop its home country, the Czech Republic, into an electromobility hub. E-components or e-vehicles are to be manufactured at all three Czech Skoda Auto sites in Lada Boleslav, Fasny, and Vrklobi by 2030 to safeguard jobs and create new ones. And now I will tell you some information about the classic Skoda Enyaq. The all-electric Skoda Enyaq IV boasts sufficient drive technology and outstanding aerodynamics in its segment. This enables long-distance ranges of more than 520 km in the WLTP cycle. Outside temperatures between 20 and 30 degrees of Celsius are ideal for efficiency. However, the range of electric vehicles is reduced in winter when electricity from the battery is needed, for example, to heat the interior and keep the batteries at the correct temperature. With the right steps and equipment options, the reduction in range at low temperatures can easily be minimized. The Skoda Enyaq IV has an impressive range, making it suitable for everyday use and long-distance journeys. For example, the Enyaq IV 80 with a lithium battery can travel more than 520 km on a single charge. When it is cold, however, the range of electric vehicles is reduced since the battery must be kept within an optimal temperature window by a sophisticated thermal management system. Energy from the battery is used for this as well as for heating the interior. Unlike models with combustion engines, electric models cannot use waste heat for this purpose. Skoda. Skoda Auto produced a total of around 480,000 vehicles from the Fabia, Scala, Octavia, Octavia IV Kamek, Karok, and Enyaq IV series at the Mlada Boleslav plant. With 187,000 units, the Octavia continued to be the most built model at the company's headquarters. In addition, the car manufacturer produced 411,000 engines, 383,000 manual transmissions of the types MQ200 and MQ76,000 high-voltage traction batteries, and 1,511,000 axles of this site last year. The company invested 32 million euros in the production of the new Enyaq IV which began at the end of November. 
Each day, the assembly line will produce between 250 and 350 units of the all-electric SUV in a fully flexible manner. Skoda Auto invested around 29 million euros in a new processing line for the ultra-fine plasma coating of the cylinder crankcases used in the new EV03 cylinder engines of the EA211 series. The Kvassini plant produced around 270,000 units. Apart from the Skoda Superb and the Superb IV with plug-in hybrid drive, the Kodiak and Karak SUV models as well as the seat were also built here. The company accelerated the modernization of the plant at this location last year. Since July 2021, Skoda Auto has been using a robot to remove starter batteries from pallets and deliver them just in sequence to the production line. It can also stack empty pallets and packages and, if required, order new pallets with starter batteries from the warehouse. It moves with the help of mobile guidance. Since 2021, the company has also been testing a system at the Kvassini plant to enhance occupational safety. Forklifts can detect other industrial trucks or employees and brake automatically, if there is a risk of collision. The 7 Skoda student concept car, designed by 31 students attending the renowned Skoda Vocational School, links the past with the present. The open-top Skoda Slavia pays homage to this year's Skoda Auto Anniversary. It was created in 2020. Skoda Slavia is also a new car 2022 that is manufactured for Indian market. But this video is from making 2020 Slavia concept car. The Spider variant of the Skoda Scala combines the contemporary compact model's bold and exciting lines with the common design standard from the earliest days of motoring, when most automobiles were open-top vehicles. From first draft to building this one-off car, the students completed every step themselves, with support from their instructors as well as Skoda experts in the design, production, and technical development departments. As you can see now, students are preparing and mixing a special shade of paint and will paint every part of the car in protective suits.
the most expensive Skoda ever built was arguably a cake. The recent Fabia advert cost around £500,000 to put together. In 2004, of the 3.7 million cars registered in the Czech Republic, 1.8 million were Skodas. So that's nearly half. If you want to do your bit with helping the environment, Skoda won't hinder you. In fact for every car sold in the Czech Republic, they will build one of their own pellet heating plants, and plant one tree to try, and combat the emissions given by a car. Basically, you can drive around guilt free in a brand new car knowing you're not completely damaging the environment. But I suppose it's better than nothing. The Skoda company began with two blokes, Lauren and Clement. Lauren wanted to begin a bike business, because a German company was rude to him, and wouldn't fix his bike. They started making those, then motorbikes, then cars. The Skoda Yeti was a compact crossover SUV at the 2009 Geneva Motor Show, as the carmaker's first entry into the SUV market. Production was terminated in 2017. The assembly took place in the Czech Republic, Russia, India, China, Kazakhstan, and Ukraine. Predecessor was Skoda Roomster, and successors are Skoda Karak and Skoda Kamek. Skoda unveiled a concept car in the compact SUV category, named the Yeti, and using a single vertical windscreen wiper moving horizontally across the hull of the glass, or horizontally divided hatch, the lower part of which was split into an inner and outer section, so that two bicycles could be secured to the lowered outer section, features that did not see production.
Clear the stage for the SCOTUS Sunrock. The study is the result of SCOTUS students' project. A total of 23 SCOTA vocational school students worked for eight months on a convertible version of the Kara. Compact SUV with a velvet red exterior and white and red leather upholstery. Design highlights, including subtly illuminated SCOTA logos and backlit wheel arches, underscored the exceptional character of this concept. The first steps involved reinforcing the body of the Skoda Sunrock and removing the fixed roof. This required modifying all four doors and redesigning the tailgate from scratch. Compared to the luggage compartment volume of 521 liters in the production model Skoda Karak, the Skoda Sunrock actually boasts an even larger boot. Now students carefully attach the rear exhausts, including the carburetor.
The Skoda Karak is a compact crossover SUV designed and built in Czech factory in Kvasny. Introduced in 2017, the vehicle is based on the Volkswagen Group MQB platform and replaced the Skoda Yeti. The car slots between the smaller Skoda Kamek and the larger Skoda Kodiak. The Skoda Karak is available with several engines for different markets ranging from 1.0 to 2.0 liters and a choice of front or all-wheel drive. Facelifted Skoda Karak was publicly unveiled in December 2021. It features a completely restyled front and rear end. It also received a few new comfort-related features on the inside. It offers a new digital gauge cluster, three-zone automatic air condition, adaptive suspension dynamic chassis control, and electric sliding panoramic sunroof. However, most of this equipment is optional and will be offered in higher trim levels or with additional charges. The new Karak is first offered in Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Switzerland with pre-orders starting January 2022 and delivery to customers is expected in summer of 2022. It is sold in three trim levels, active, Slovakia and Czech Republic only, ambition, and style, as well as a sporty Karak Sportline. Strong demand for the Karak forced Volkswagen Group to assemble the car in two additional plants, in Lada Boleslav Czech Republic and in Volkswagen plant in Germany in 2018 to 2019. Skoda customers in several markets had to wait for up to 10 months for their car to be delivered. It was also manufactured in Bratislava, Slovakia from October 2020. Four years after its launch, the Skoda Karak gets an update. The Czech carmaker has refreshed its second SUV model range to ensure its continued success. In addition to an even more refined design language, the update brings sustainable materials, new technology and more efficient engines from the current generation to the compact SUV. Surpassed only by the Octavia, the Kodiak's smaller brother was the second most delivered Skoda model worldwide in 2020, as well as in the first six months of 2021. The updated compact SUV has something for everyone, and its range stays true to burn, offering three petrol options. Three-cylinder 1.0-liter 115 CV, four-cylinder 1.5 and 2.0-liter. Available with six-speed manual or dual-clutch automatic transmission, and seven-speed DSG transmission. In diesel, the quote includes the engine 2.0 turbocharged, 116 and 150 horsepower, and the same previous transmission. Furthermore, only the most powerful and automatic ones can be configured all-wheel drive. The new Karak comes with slimmer LED tail lamps with crystalline light signature and a progressive roofline. Skoda also offers the new Karak with 17, 18 or 19 inch alloy wheels. The alloy wheels feature an aero trim on specific models, which helps improve the efficiency of the vehicle. Skoda claims that the new Karak SUV features air curtains, air inlets and spoiler along with the wheels allowing the car to slide through the air with ease.